In this problem, we have two rods and two discs that are pinned together. And uh, at this instant, the angle theta is 60 degree and the linear velocity of point A is 0 0.4 meter per second vertical down. And now we need to determine the linear velocity of point B as well as the angular velocity of the disc at point B. And the disc rolls without slipping. And we're going to use the instantaneous center of zero velocity to solve this problem. Because we know that if the disc rolls without slipping, then the direction of velocity at point B must be in this direction. It must be horizontal. So the velocity of point A has a known direction that is vertical down. And point A and point B are both on this rod AB. Therefore, they belong to the same rigid body. And we know the directions of two velocities on this rigid body. Therefore, if we extend this line and extend this line, and then we can draw lines that are perpendicular to this and this, to the two linear velocities, and where they intersect, this is IC, the instantaneous center of zero velocity at this moment. Um, therefore, this distance right here is going to be RA relative to IC, and as you can tell, it equals to the length of the rod, which is one meter, times, um, in this case, cosine 60 degree, Therefore, that equals to 0 0.5 meter. And this distance right here is RB relative to IC. And that equals to 1 times sine 60 degree, and that is 0 0.866 meter. So at this point, we can write for VA, again, for the velocity of point A on this rigid body AB, VA equals to RA relative to IC times omega AB. And RA is known, and that is 0 0.4 meter per second. RA relative to IC is 0 0.5 meter that we just determined earlier. And then times omega AB. From here, we can solve for omega AB to be 0 0.4 divided by 0 0.5, and that is 0 0.8 radian per second. The direction is determined manually because VA goes down, VB goes to the left. Therefore, you can tell that the rotation of this member is clockwise. So now, because point B also belongs to the same rigid body, so VB also equals to RB relative to IC times omega AB which equals to 0 0.866, we determined earlier, times 0 0.8, and that equals to 0 0.693 meter per second. The direction is vertical to the left, determined earlier, because the disk is rolling without slipping. So, as you can tell, using the instantaneous zero uh, of zero velocity, instantaneous center of zero velocity, we can quickly determine um, angular velocity and uh, linear velocity of some other point on the same rigid body.